crossing at Teddington Lock was composed of two footbridges connected by an island. Both bridges were constructed in the years 1887 through 1889, funded by donations from local residents and businesses, as well as local government. The western bridge here is an iron suspension bridge, whilst the eastern bridge is an iron girder bridge, with a larger height allowing taller vessels to pass under. The blue and white painted ironwork of the Western Suspension Bridge makes it look very pleasant to look at. The blue paint and green trees provide a sharp contrast, enabling the bridge to stand out and catch your attention. The Eastern Bridge is much simpler, but it's still nice to look at because of the same blue paint job. I said last week the Kingston Rail Bridge was a bit dirty because of the grey painted ironwork. The Teddington Lock Bridge shows how much difference a little bit of colour can The crossing here uses two footbridges of different design and an island, which is quite a unique and pleasing setup. Suspension bridges have first been pioneered at the start of the century. The designer G. Pooley made use of the technology for a longer stretch over the rear screen. For the shorter stretch over a lock cut, he used a single span truss bridge, which can be seen here. The latter structure reused materials from a temporary bridge erected at Hammersmith. It's good to see that even the Victorians had some notion of the need to recycle. The bridges at Teddington Lock opened in 1889. The East Bridge spans 28 metres of water, whilst the West Bridge spans 60 metres of water, making a total of 88 metres of water span. The East Bridge, which spans the navigational channel, has a clearance of 5.6 metres. Both bridges only have one span over the water, but the West Bridge has one pier in the water. And a thousand passengers cross the bridges every day. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.